Welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. Anthony Albanese is doubling down on a decision not to investigate reports of cultural issues within his party. Senators Penny Wong and Christina Keneally, as well as Katie Gallagher, have all denied those accusations that they bullied their late colleague, Kimberly Kitching, who died of a heart attack last week. Now, the Labor leader says the tragedy is being politicised. The people who've been targeted here, uh, Penny Wong, Christina Keneally and Katie Gallagher, are people I'm very proud to have as part of my team. That's not to say that we can't always look to do better. The PM, though, claims that Anthony Albanese has just vanished rather than answering tough questions about the allegedly toxic behaviour within the Labor Party. Scott Morrison says the allegations absolutely need to be investigated. But where is Anthony Albanese? I mean, where is he on this issue? You know, Richard Miles uh, was, didn't answer any questions on this yesterday either. I mean, there are many questions that have been put here. An inquiry into the Star Casino has heard how it misled banks as Asian high rollers were using debit cards to gamble hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, China Union Pay does not allow its cards to be used for gambling, but the inquiry has heard the casino actually tried to hide the cards that were being used. Ukraine's Lviv airport has been hit by Russian missiles. It's believed the four cruise missiles hit the Lviv State Aviation Repair Plant with smoke now billowing from the site. There's outrage in WA as a so-called COVID army prepares for a weekend testing blitz. The team will go door-to-door randomly testing residents for Omicron to see if the virus is spreading undetected in the community. The consumer watchdog is taking court action against Facebook's parent company over scam ads using famous Aussies to try and trick people out of their money. The ACCC is accusing Meta of false and misleading or deceptive conduct by publishing the ads. And scientists will examine how many of us have actually had COVID and didn't even know it. That's amid suggestions that Omicron infections could have actually been up to 10 times higher than detected. 5,000 blood samples from Red Cross Lifeblood will be tested for COVID antibodies. Taking a look at sport and Nick Kyrgios has been knocked out of the Indian Wells Masters in the quarterfinals. The Aussie blew up at the chair umpire as he went down to Rafael Nadal in three sets. In your entertainment news, now Rihanna has been spotted shopping for some baby clothes. The 33-year-old billionaire was getting pretty thrifty while cruising Target for her young bub. Many believe she may be having a girl as she was picking out some pretty dresses. Pete Davidson will no longer be heading to space. The comedian was meant to be boarding Blue Origin's next trip, but he had to drop out after the launch date was pushed back. And Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis have shared their gratitude after hitting their $30 million donation goal. The couple were raising funds for Mila's homeland, Ukraine. Now that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. 